Good morning, I'm Aparna Ramaswamy, continuing with the narration of the Panchatantra. Today's story is titled, The Fair Mind and the Foul Mind, or the Foolish Mind. There were two friends. One was a very fair-minded, righteous young man, and the other guy was a little deceptive, sneaky little person. And he was figuring out a way of how to make money using the fair-minded guy's intelligence and good offices. So he tells him, why don't we go out to another town, make some money so that we can have a good life. And the other man, the fair-minded man says, okay, that's fine, let's go. So they spend several months outside, they make some money, and they return back to this village that they left from. Now the, the um, deceitful man tells a fair-minded guy, before we take all the money and go into this village, let's try to hide it. So we don't get robbed. People don't immediately think we have a lot of money because sometimes when you have a lot of money, people ask you for more money. So they hide it under a tree that they have selected and they take a little bit of money for their use and go into the village. In a week or so, the foul-minded fellow runs through this money. He has a little bit of a gambling vice and he just goes through his money. He goes to his friend and says, I'm out of money. We got to go back and get some money. So his friend says, okay, why don't we go tomorrow night and get that money and come? Now, while he's waiting for this, this deceitful man thinks about it and he says, why should I be going every time and sharing this man's money? So he comes up with a plan, goes that same night, digs up all of the money and runs away with it. Comes back to the village the next day, hides it somewhere else and then goes to the fair-minded fellow and say, okay, I'm ready. Let's go tonight and get some money. When they go there, of course, they realize that they've been robbed. And immediately he accuses his friend, the good guy, and says, well, you must have been the guy who came to rob the money because you said, instead of going the same night, that we should wait a night to go get the money. So you must have been the person who robbed us. And the fair-minded fellow is absolutely affronted. And he says, that's ridiculous. I would never do something like that. Let's go to the minister and get this resolved. So they go to the minister, and the deceitful man tells the minister, well, I can prove that it's my friend, the so-called fair-minded man, who has stolen the money. Let's meet up tomorrow night at that tree where we buried it and I will have your proof. So this deceitful man goes to his father and tells him that I need your help. I need your help to make sure we have money for our lives. And he tells him that he wants him to hide under the tree and call out that it was the fair-minded fellow who stole the money. The father says, well, this is not a good way for us to do it, but he, his son wouldn't listen. So the next day when the minister comes out, he goes to the tree and this deceitful man asks the tree, tell us who's the one who came and robbed the tree. The old father who's inside buried, you know, staying in that hollow of the tree calls out and says, it's that fair-minded fellow who came and stole all the money. But the fair-minded guy immediately understand what's going on, so he sets a little fire under the base of the tree. The dad immediately comes out of the tree and collapses completely, suffocated by the smoke. And the minister understands what's going and sentences the guy to whatever imprisonment. Now, as he's narrating the story, the minister tells that guy, well, don't you know sometimes when you make these plans, you really have to think ahead. You have to think of what might happen, what the long-term consequences are, just like in the story of the crane and the mongoose. Please join us in next week for another episode of the Panchatantra. I'm Aparna Ramaswamy.